Hi, this is Sweet June coming back at you with another video. If you're new to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you will, it would be greatly appreciated. Um, I heard um, that we're facing another possible food shortage. Um, we're at the, you know, we're having another surge of the pandemic and um, I know they said, somebody put a picture on Facebook the other day about the Myers store here where my city, that they didn't have no chicken. They ain't had no chicken. Chicken was gone. So, um, but they, it, it, somebody put something on uh, Facebook. It was quite funny. Uh, they, they said, they showed the, the, the Valentine's aisle they said it's funny how there's a there's a there's a meat and food shortage, but we got plenty of Valentine's Day candy. <laughs> you know, it's not no shortage of that. When you go to the go to your local store and check out the Valentine's Day aisle, the Valentine's aisle is full of candy. It's full of candy. But then you go to your meat section in in other areas of the of the store, things is light. The, the candy is overabundant, so they can make that. They can make that and put it on the shelf, but they can't. They can't get the meat and everything up there. So that is a good point that we're dealing with um, food shortages. Um, I'm gonna talk about something else too. Um, it's bad. This is a bad time. Right now, it's, it's the pandemic. It's, we got another, another bad surge of the pandemic. Um, let me know in the comment section if you guys are having a hard time uh, when you go to the store. You're having a hard time getting the things that you need um, and stuff like that. It's, um, the, economy, the economy is just tanking. You know, um, um, they're saying that they're having a hard time securing workers in certain areas and stores and things like that. Certain store. Oh, that's what I was going to talk about. The dollar, the dollar stores. If you go to your local Dollar General, um, I I usually buy candles. I I got I love to light my candles. I usually either go to Dollar Tree or Dollar General to buy candles. And I get the long candles, you know, the long ones, you know, the long candles. And then I also get the like a little, the, the, um, the ones like that size. And then I sometimes get the other ones too. And those, all those candles, all the candles in the ca candle section were, um, well, well, um, in Dollar Tree, but Dollar General, though, those, those long candles, Tube candles were only a dollar in Dollar General and Dollar Tree. And then the candles about that size were only a dollar. But now it's two dollars. I went the other day to grab a couple of candles and they were two dollars a piece. They used to be a dollar and now they're two dollars. And so um, the dollar stores are going up. The, the prices of the dollar stores is going up. And they did talk of they were talking about that. I don't know if the Dollar Tree, let me know if you guys Dollar Tree in your city. I uh, last time I went to the Dollar Tree, but that was like a couple weeks ago. Last time I went to the Dollar Tree was like New Year's Eve. I think it was New Year's Eve. Literally. So it's been a minute since I've been at the Dollar Tree. But last time I went to the Dollar Tree, they haven't increased on the prices yet. But I heard, I hear that the Dollar Tree is going up. I hear that the Dollar Tree is going up. Prices is going up at the Dollar Tree because that's what the that's what the Dollar Store is known for. The Dollar Store is known for having everything for a dollar in there. I mean, that's what that's what that's what they named the store. The, the store is named Dollar Tree, but they said they're getting ready to go up to a dollar twenty five at the Dollar Tree. They've already went up at um. Dollar General. That's a multi-billion dollar corporation. They got those stores everywhere. Heck, they probably even probably even have them in the desert. Those stores, they I'm I, I I kid you not. 
I drive out to the country. My friend, I had a friend that lived um, in this really, really small, tiny country town here in Michigan. Tiny country town. It, it's you can't call it a city because it's 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 the it's a town. It's a it's like one of them little tiny tiny. You know, Michigan. We have a lot of those little tiny towns around here. It's a, a little tiny country town. They had a, a doggone Dollar General in that that little tiny town. They had a Dollar General in that town. They you you you'd be amazed at some of the places. I, I went to another little tiny town I, I, when I was doing home care. I had a client in this little tiny town. She said, I want to go to the Dollar General. And I took her. All I had to do was bend a couple of corners and take her down to the Dollar General. <laughs> they had a Dollar General in that little tiny town. I kid you not. Those Dollar Generals are everywhere. They know where to put them stores. They're very strategic. The company is very strategic. They know where to put them stores. And they, I'm telling you, if some of you, <laughs> you guys, let me know if you know anybody that live out in Arizona. <laughs> they probably got them in the desert. I wouldn't be surprised if they got one of them stores in the desert. Them stores is everywhere. They put them stores everywhere. And so this is, they're a multi, we got, in, in my city, we, I, I think we got about 10 of them here in my city. And I live in a, 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 a small city. Um, well, we got about 50, 60,000 people here. It's 10 of those stores. There is 10 of those Dollar General stores here in my city. 10 of them. I, I, I kid you not. There's 10 of them. They, they got them in every neighborhood. Literally, they have them in every neighborhood. Let me know. Hit me up in the comment section. Uh, and I was going to do a rap video about Dollar General because the one over here by me, the one that's down the street from me, they never have, they always short staff. And I, I went in there and I, I fussed. I went in there and I fussed one time. I fussed at them one time. I said, I'm not fussing at you. I'm fussing at the owners. I said, because this don't make no sense. It seems like every time I come in the store, I don't, I can't, I can't never find what I need. Y'all, y'all shelves is empty and stuff like that. Oh, well, we're short staffed. And um, they said the manager caught COVID. It, it's always a reason, you know, we're short staffed. And, but then it's mighty funny. I go to the other Dollar General in the other neighborhood. Let me hit me in the comment section. Let me know you guys dealing with this. I go to the other Dollar General that has more. I'm going to keep it 100. More white people in the neighborhood. Some, some black people. But there's more white folks in the neighborhood. I go to the one over there. And they fully stocked. The shelves are fully stocked. They're stocked nice and stocked. Everything is stacked up there nice and neat. And everything is fully stocked. You go in there and get everything that you need. It amazes me when I go in that store. I'm like, oh my God, this style of general is so much different. But the one that's over here by me, empty shelves. The store is a hot mess. It, it, it's a mess in there. It, it, the shelves are empty. You, I, I go to get a Pacific thing that I'm looking for. I can't find it. So I, like I said, I went in there and I literally complained to the manager. I said, this is ridiculous. This doesn't make any sense. Every time I come in this store, I said, well, why is it that you're, uh, well, we short staff. We this, we that. That's an excuse that they made. I said, but why is it at the other store it's not like that? It's not the company because the other store is. Uh, so I went on there. I went on their message board and I complained. Was it Google? Was it, I, did, I don't know if I went on the Google review, but I complained. Yes, I did. I complained. I said, this don't, and I, I, each store has a number. Each store has a number. I put the number of the store, the, the city, and I put the number of the store because each store has a number. They have them all numbered. I put the, the city and the number of the store. And I said, 
This doesn't make any sense. This store is never, you, the shelves are never stopped. Short staff. And sometimes I have literally found that store closed. There's sometimes where they have literally closed the store because they say, well, we don't have any, we don't have any staff. People keep quitting and all this. But it's mighty funny when I drive over to the other one on the other side of town. It's really not on the, uh, technically not on the other side of town. It's just in a different neighborhood. That store is fully stocked. It's fully stocked. It's the, the you know, staff is neatly stocking the, the stuff on the shelves and everything is neatly stacked on the shelves. You can go in there and I can go in there and get everything I need and then some and some stuff that I can't get at my Dollar General that's closer to my house. And that's what I tell them. I say, it's mighty funny. This other one, See, it's, I, I tell you, systematic racism is real, guys. It's real. Because the, the, the one here, closer in my neighborhood, that, that, that Dollar General is a hot mess. But then you go over there, which is more of a predominantly white neighborhood. It's a better store. I mean, I mean you can't make this up. You, I, I can't make this up. Let me know in the comment section. It's, it, it, it happens This it, it's in every city. This happens in every city. It happens in every city. You have to drive out to the other stores to get a better quality food, better quality groceries. I know that's pretty much a whole other video, but you, you feel me. If you live in a predominantly black neighborhood... The stores that you have in your neighborhood don't have the same quality as the stores in the predominantly white areas. Can't I can't make this up. I can't make this up. See, it's not the company. And but then oh, they're saying, oh, we're short staffed. We're this and we're that. I said, well, it's mighty funny they're not short staffed at the other one. It's the same company. They're not short staffed at the other one. Step shelf, shelves are fully stocked. I can go in there and get everything I need. Every time I come in here, I can't get, and it's a, it's a huge inconvenience because I have to drive to the other store. Sometimes I don't feel like driving to the other store. It's cold out here. I'm hurting. I don't feel like driving to the other store. I want to be able to get what I need at my Dollar General. That's around the corner for me. Sometimes I don't feel like going over to the other store. But if I can't get what I need, so sometimes I'll just skip the store altogether and just go to the other one. <laughs> I can't make this up. I can't make this up. I really can't. Let me hit them in the comment section. You guys know what I'm talking about. Some of those stores in those those other areas, affluent, more affluent areas and more predominantly white areas. They're better quality stores, whether it be in a grocery store or Dollar Tree or whatever general, they got better stuff. And you got the you got the driver ways to can't make this up. I can't make this up. So the, the dollar stores are going up in prices. I mean to go off on a tangent, but I was gonna do a rap video talking about that anyway, so I had to store it in there. The dollar stores are going up. So it's like I said, we already struggling. Times are already hard. Everybody's already struggling. People losing their jobs because they, you know, are not getting things injected into they don't want to get things injected into their body. So people are getting fired. You know, uh times is, you know, the economy, times are really, really bad. People are struggling. Food prices is skyrocket. Food prices is, is through the roof. For a pack of wings, like a long pack of wings, you got to drop almost $20 for a long pack of wings. Like one of them long packs of wings, if you can find them. If you can find them. You got to drop almost $20 for a long pack of wings. You guys, if you didn't get a chance to check out that video I made in the Meyer store where I was showing you the beef prices, I might put the link to that video. Check out that video. The beef prices are outrageous. You have to be, you have to literally be rich, almost rich to buy a steak. Beef prices are through the roof. They're through the roof. 
So times are hard. People are struggling. So let me know if you you, you notice that, that your Dollar General, your Dollar Stores, the prices are going up. This is just ridiculous. This, we, we, times are already hard. People are already struggling. But they say they're having a hard time with staffing and stock and getting whatever. It's just, it's crazy. But we all know they make excuses to raise prices. We We know that that's always, you know, they've always done that. So let me know in the comment section if your Dollar General, you notice that your prices at your dollar stores are going up and food prices. What are the food prices in your city? Do you notice that um, as a black person that <laughs> the same type of store in other areas of your city is better than, let me know. Let me know your experiences. Let me know. I, I, I know I'm not the only one. Don't act like I'm the only one. I'm not the only one. Can't make this up. Okay, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. If you're new to my channel, um, hit the like button and hit the notification bell. So every time I do a video, you will be notified. Until the next video, peace and love. This is Sweet June.